All right, guys. So what I just did is I just took a couple of shovel samples from around the apple trees, around the conifer, around the tree areas. First thing we do soil testing. You want to get a good sampling of everything that's going on. So when I go and I get the soil, fish for trees and areas, I go ahead and just mix it up because I want to figure out what it is. First step when we test all the soil samples is you have to get a really clean sample and all that. You want to be able to get everything to the point to where it's not going to give you a false reading in the laboratory setting itself. So the first thing I do is I label everything and I'm going to do trees at the Wagner house. So I'll just use a regular basket strainer like that and I can just go ahead and sift through it. And what's nice is it's going to give me some really good clean soil and stuff that I can actually use in the actual laboratory. Now with that, I actually take the extra time. You got to pull out the pine needles. You got to pull out all the other stuff. Now keep in mind, you can actually go down to Home Depot. You can go to Lowe's. You can go to Town and Country here in Idaho Falls. You can go to Eagle Nursery. All of them have some sort of a soil testing kit. Most important part is when you pull the soil samples out, you want to kind of get it like that, nice and clean to where it's going to give you accurate readings. So then the next thing I do with this here is I take this sample right here and I'll just simply put it in the bag where the bag is nice and sealed. And then what we do with it is over the course of tonight, I'm going to put the soil sample out. I'm going to let it dry. And then first thing in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and run all the tests on it. We'll do the pH test, the nitrogen test, potassium, phosphorus, and micronutrients. So that's the first one for this area. Now we're going to go over to the garden because the garden is going to require a different pH for the different vegetables that are going to be grown. Another nice thing about our soil testing program is we actually give you a little cheat sheet when you're growing your gardens and so forth. No two plants are alike. Some require more pH, some require less pH, some require more nitrogen, some require a low amount of nitrogen. We actually give you a little chart for grass, trees, as well as vegetables and fruits to know exactly what that tree, what that soil is going to need for an effective yield. My favorite is when I see a long hair quote unquote professional or anybody that thinks they're a green thumb. A lot of people go and say, oh yeah, I can tell by looking at the soil. You're going to need this, you're going to need that. <laughs> they must have some really good eyes because it all comes with microbial activity and the way all of the micronutrients, macronutrients, as well as the soil organisms all work with each other and all that. If you can see it in this, I'd be really impressed Superman but anyways I'm gonna trust science over you know uh, urban legends myths farmer know-how green thumb this person said this to this person who said this to Jake's grandmother or whatever